In this video, I want to show you how you could use your camera inside your phone as an alternative to your webcam or your whatever camera you're using at the minute. You do need to be on a pretty up-to-date iPhone or the software needs to be up-to-date anyway, and you will have this continuity camera feature built into it. Now, this is different. We're using this as a camera. Previously, I just made a video showing how you can share the screen. So if you're reading this wrong and thinking that's what you want to do, we've created another video about that and you can check that one out up here. This one, we're going to use the camera. So we come down here, right at the bottom, we've just opened up a meeting and you've got these controls along the bottom. Nobody's in yet, but we have uh, the microphone settings on here. And the next one is your camera settings. And at the top of the list here, we've got options for attached cameras that we can use. So I'm going to click on here, Aidy's iPhone camera. It'll freeze what's going on there on Zoom. And hopefully I'm going to get a message come up on my phone, kicking in saying that it wants to use the camera. It isn't. <laughs> so I'm going to come up into the settings up here inside your phone and under general and then airplay and handoff. You can see it there on the screen. I go inside of that and there's an option there for continuity camera. If it's not picking up automatically, click it off, click it back on again. And let's just select it again down here. Aidy's iPhone camera. And eventually it came through. Um, so you can see this is what I'm seeing on the screen. Sorry to give you a close up of my face, but uh, you can see on there what's happening on my phone. It's kicked in with this continuity camera. And actually I could now place this up on a mount over here and it does a pretty good job of a camera, don't you think? Now you wanna make sure this is nice and steady. You could get a little tripod holder or something for it, mount it on here. But actually, there we go. That's how we're setting this up and connecting it up. Now, I gotta be honest, this can be a little bit glitchy. And I'm gonna click that back. That's actually just gone, that's stuck on me then because it's moving around a lot. It's not ideal. I would still way prefer, and you can see the difference in the image quality when you use a camera like this. If you are looking at improving your camera quality, yes, that's an option. I've showed you how to do that. I would really recommend that you come and check out a webinar that we've got, Lights, Camera, Impact, where I show you how to not only sort out a camera, source it and set it up like this, but also to think about the background, think about how you're gonna present and help you really stand out when you get on camera, whether it's Zoom, webinar, YouTube videos, anything else. So if you wanna check that one out, uh, I'll put a link right up here. You can come over and join me in that free training. Otherwise, I hope that's helped you. Let me know in the comments if you're having any issues with it, just uh, restart your phone, bring it back in again, and it should be fine. If you're not seeing that continuity camera option, you need to update your operating system inside your phone. All right, go have some fun with that. Thank you.